We've had um, conversations about these, these talks in China. I've heard very, very low level, and then I've heard mid-level, and then I heard that a high-level uh, Chinese uh, individual stuck his head into to the meetings. How would you characterize these talks right now? Are they, they mid-level, the, They're at the level? appropriate level. Uh, from <laughs> our side, it's been deputy secretaries and assistant secretaries, including a couple from Commerce. Altogether, it's a pretty large delegation because there are quite a few sets of different issues that have to be dealt with, ranging from immediate trade issues to the big structural issues, and most importantly, to enforcement and compliance. How do you make sure that they live up to whatever it is uh, comes out of the talk? What do you think is going better? The, or who's, who's more intractable? The shutdown meeting over the weekend with the Democrats or the, or the Chinese? Are they equally? In, in, where are we making headway in, in either place? Well, I'm beginning to think that there are language differences in both camps <laughs> with the administration. Right, right. So I'm not sure there's, but there's also getting to be a bit of cultural difference. Do you think, I, I mean, we've been, I won't mention any names, but the, the perception is this China thing, we're never going to get anything we really want. It's just going to be window dressing. It's not going to work. It's just a big waste of time, and we're hurting everybody because of the tariffs. Is there well, something positive that could come out of this or not, Wilbur, do you think? Yeah, what will come out of it is a resolution. Are we going to go the negotiated route? Or are we going to go and go in the original direction of higher tariffs? It's really a binary set of decisions. What was your reaction last week when Apple uh, announced it it's was going to miss its earnings? Well, I don't think Apple's earnings miss had anything to do with the present trade talks. Think about it. There have been no tariffs put on Apple products, so that's not it. But do you think that it has clearly hurt the Chinese economy and therefore companies that are doing business in China, including multinational companies, U.S. based? Well, it certainly has hurt the Chinese economy. You look at this morning's paper, rate of growth in GDP heading down, rate of growth in retail sales heading down, rate of growth in capital are you investment happy about that? heading down. Robert, you and the president happy that China's economy is being hurt? Is that something we should be happy for because it, it may allow us to extract something or or is, is do you feel guilty being happy that you're hurting a well a neither happy company? nor guilty we had expected that this would happen because what is happening is the movement of foreign companies including american ones out of china already began before these tariff discussions what that's done is focus people more on them not that everything is necessarily moving back here. Some is moving to Vietnam. Some is moving to here and there. So the compounding effect on China is both some stuff coming back here and quite a bit of stuff moving. It's, it's the world's largest, the second largest economy at this point. If 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 that economy gets dragged down, there are a lot of real concerns that that will wash up on our shores too. What do you think about well, that? Well, think about how little we actually export to them. What this whole trade thing is about is they export several times as much to us as we export to them. So what we have at risk is a very small amount, both absolutely and because our economy is bigger than theirs, certainly relatively it's infinitely smaller.